War Diary Day 622 of Russia's War Against Ukraine. Our Vladimir Putin do fuck off festival has um, paid out money to seven charities, uh, more than £5,000 in total. Um, your money helped pay, helps pay for Ukraine's NGOs, its charities to do good things, to carry out their good work. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. This morning I took part in a conference of international investigators by Zoom link taking place in London with my, uh, one of my great heroes, Sir Geoffrey Nice, who was the prosecutor, the man who prosecuted Slobodan Milosevic. Now, let's remember that, that there are war crimes happening um, right now here, and also war crimes happening in the Middle East too. And my feeling, having kind of worked in this territory since 1988, when I first went to apartheid South Africa and saw um, the white South African apartheid states abuse of Africans who only wanted democracy and a vote, um, I have never felt so gloomy about international justice my entire life. As I keep on saying, the dictatorships, the dictators, they're on the front foot these days. However, however, it's also true to say that there are good people who are still doing good work, many of them the investigators at the conference, but also people here in Ukraine. My friend Victoria Amelina was killed. Um, she was a wonderful novelist who, who turned to be a human rights investigator. She was, she was killed by a Russian cruise missile. My friend Dima, my fixer, was driving her around that day. He escaped. She died. This evening, I'm going to a, uh, a seminar where her friends in Truth Hounds will set out the evidence that they believe this is the unit that sent the cruise missile. So, war criminals, wherever you are, whoever you are, watch out. We're coming to get you. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>